Loosey goosey chime time. Welcome back, everybody. Big Daddy Russ Horton. I'm Lee Lakin with Leah Lywood in the studio or in Lee's garage. I guess that's the best way to put it now that it's all put back together because all this equipment you see behind us was out yeah. <laughs> for Leather Town yeah. Festival. So we had a good time last week. It was you? an outstanding day. Everybody did such a great job, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Actually, I was very, very proud. Uh, the bands were amazing. Um, just, uh, yeah, it was real, real fun time. And uh, I, I got up on the stage to introduce one of the acts. So you could see, you know, all the way down uh, uh, Mill Street. And it just a sea of heads of people. It That's was awesome, so man. packed. Beautiful. It was dynamite. It was so good. And, it's uh, nice to get out and enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Again, you know, after being cramped up for two years, over two years. Mm -hmm. Now we're back and uh, having fun. And, uh, We've got the car show next week in Georgetown, so or this coming weekend. Yeah, we've got uh, that. Yeah, next yeah so next weekend we've got that. We've also got the car show at the Legion yeah. uh, on the Sunday. So the Saturday is downtown Georgetown. Yeah. And then the Sunday here at the Acton Legion. And, and then Mold uh, Masters every Friday Every night. Friday night, yeah. Uh, I wonder how they did with the fundraiser they were doing for MS, because that was they yesterday. They did very well. I, I was in there this morning talking to them, and they say they're, they're going to give us an amount. Uh, they haven't counted it all yet, but uh, apparently they said thank you to uh, Halton Hills Online. Uh, we plugged them all week. Yep. And yep. Uh, it's, it's a it's a big, well, you great suffer event, from, you know. You suffer from MS yourself. Exactly. And, uh, oh, this goes to the microphone. Mom spit. Mom spit. Mom should have done it. <laughs> Mom could have done it. See, I didn't do it. But, uh, no, I was in there this morning and they said thank you so much to, to us, Excellent. of course, because we reached. 60,000 people, isn't it? Uh, what's the roughly, amount? Yeah. Uh, roughly, yeah. Roughly. Roughly, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're hitting the population of Halton Hills. So. Like, we, like, you know, and more. really, really. 66,000 people, but there's a lot of people outside that also dig what we do, too. Well, the, the talent sales, we don't, it's not just Halton Hills for the most part, but there are so many that either lived here or moved, or, yep. and, there, and we got like some of the surrounding area, like Mississauga, so there is some outside of that, but nonetheless. And all over the world, you know, New Zealand, uh, England, uh, I see posts all over the world. And as I said last yeah. week, people used to say, did you see, remember the old days we get the independent, everybody went to the police blotter, first thing, right? See what your buddies were doing. Yeah. See if you knew anybody. That was the first thing we all went to. Come on, right? We did. <laughs> now they say, did you see what they said on the talent cell? And this is everyday talk. So we have, and especially you and Katie, you've done a wonderful job on the talent cells. And Don Fenley, of course, was around yeah. to originate it, wasn't he? Yeah, well, the three uh, of us are the ones that origin originally yeah. put it together. Um, um, and then Don's, he's helping out with, with some other stuff, but. Yeah, he's, he's on if he grew up with I Georgetown now. Yeah. So uh, thank you to all three of you because uh, really um, uh, most of our numbers are on the talent cell and it really is incredible. We find lost dogs and uh, lost cats. And, uh, you and know, a couple uh, birds. A couple of birds. Always. But it uh, makes me feel good when we, when we find the animals. How do you that, catch a bird, though? I don't know. Well. <laughs> Hey, Bird. <laughs> <laughs> and we're brought to you by, of course. Oh, Max Tires. And their number is 905-873-9255. They have the lowest prices on tires. And we've seen the sexy ex accessories in the showroom there. And, of course, they fix cars and trucks. They have licensed mechanics. And we're also brought to you by Fred's Towing, who are looking for drivers right now, and Easy Taxi, who are also looking for drivers. And uh, one more quick recognition to Rick Chaplin who of course passed away last Absolutely. week. Absolutely along with uh, we just found out today a uh, longtime resident uh, Warren Anderson as well. Yeah Warren I knew him since he was a kid. He, he was battling cancer and uh, so sorry. we haven't got all the details yet we just heard about it as this afternoon uh, but our our hearts go out to the Anderson family who are very close to myself and your all of us. Very prominent family in very much Georgetown. So. Uh, the Andersons uh, you know, I mean, uh, everyone in Normandy is so wonderful. You know, let's face it, everybody on that street. But uh, he's one of the Normandy yeah, boys. Yeah, uh, to Dan and, and Sean, who are very dear friends of mine, uh, my heart goes out. Well, That's all I can... Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's upsetting when you know. The, 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 I saw him grow up <coughs> as a yeah. kid. He used to hang around with my son. Really. I've, I've had many a parties with him at Irwin's place, and he's been there, and... Uh, yeah, just uh, it really hit me kind of boom, you know. Yeah, I just hearing so about so young, it, so. my God, he's just yeah. a kid. Yeah, he was just a young guy. 
So All right, so the big story this week, um, and uh, this is... The, the mayoral running. candidates? Yeah, all, who's running now? We have Brian Lewis running, and uh, uh, but yeah. now we have, of course, uh, uh, this gentleman, Ken Page, who is a former CEO with municipal political experience, and he's the fifth candidate in the mayor uh, roll up here as we head into October soon. And then, and we, and then we have Robert uh, Guitardi. Uh, after making a career out of managing money, Robert believes he can bring these skills to the town of Halton Hills. And the first thing he says he would do is cut the mayor's salary. Well, that's going to go over well. Well, really, is it that? Are we in a budget crisis here? I don't think we are. I don't think Rick. Who isn't now? That but much, <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I think our roads. You know, if you're going to cut the salary, fix it. Bloody roads! You almost swore there. I saw your <laughs> your <laughs> lips just <laughs> curling, right? And uh, uh, Robert Guitardi, is he any uh, relation to uh, um, uh, what's his name there? I think his last name is Guitardi. Um, Mark Mark Guitardi. I don't know. He, he lives up on Trafalgar Road there. I'm not. I'm just not wondering if, uh, but but he did run before, didn't he, Robert Guitardi? Well, he it's did. interesting to see because you think of the last election, nobody really ran against Rick. No. He was going to retire then, and really couldn't so he was kind of stuck in a, in a rock and a hard place but now we got five candidates so yeah, it, sh it should be interesting and, and of course and, and uh, Lawler, of course yeah um, and of course uh, our good friend alex hilson is uh, running for ward one counselor so uh, he alex uh, is a good man yeah he just signed he just signed his documents today and uh he's leaving the bia for a little while to pursue oh this, no so. <laughs> well, it's, it's run so well. Though. I, I, you know, I, mean, he, I think you see his picture all over Facebook. Oh God, yeah, watering the plants. Um, He's usually got talking to the business owners. Going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, you know, I, uh, yeah, he had to get through Leathertown. We had to get that through before he could actually step away. So, did um, you see the Hal Halton Hills online stage at the Leathertown? Oh, it was huh? great. It was dynamite. Uh, wicked truth. Matt put on uh, one heck of a show. He just he always does. I saw him singing in the street to the gals. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. He's he up for the picnic. I love Wicked Truth. Uh, he's yeah, he's such an entertainer. He like is. Elvis. Yeah. Just like Elvis. He's a showman, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, and not only that, the band rocks. Oh, man. it really they, does. We had great bands, and this year was really fun because every band was a local band. That's what it's we all about. We weren't bringing in people from Toronto or you know or Ottawa or whatever. It was all local musicians, and it was fantastic. The Transistor Radio Group was really good. They were they were rocking as well. It's good. Um, Treetop Poets, Whiskey Cats, ourselves. Uh, um, and you are uh, Crazy Chester, of course. And uh, another band, Evan Song, uh, who we followed up behind them. Just uh, just a great lineup of acts. It was so great. The Acton City Limits Band as well, and. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it's, it, we're you know amongst us all, we're still even talking about it because it was uh, after being on a hiatus. It's tough to come back. I think for local communities across Canada or North America, in, that, in fact, uh, when we come to our hometown and our local musicians, I think we're one of the tightest communities in the world. I think so. When it comes to local people, um, because Dan Tolevsky, of course, wouldn't it be nice to get Dan Tolevsky, one of the big stars? He's had a lot of top 40 hits, yeah. and he's from Georgetown. It'd be nice to get Dan on stage. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Dick said some of the, the people, and uh, was Neil Cotton at the, at, it wasn't the Levittown, was he? I'm no. sure he was there watching, but uh, no. But the local musicians are so tight here. Larry Melton, I mean, we're, we're all well, tight. We're, we're all friends, too, right. you know, and we all play together, and I get called in as a sub-drummer for these bands and that band, so we all know each other, you know. It was we it all know Larry's dog runs away every two uh, weeks. Every couple of weeks, Larry's dog runs away. Because he's horny? Yeah. You know. <laughs> runs into the woods? Yeah. <laughs> looking, for that, looking for that bear. Uh, look for that Those bear. are some big dogs. Hey, there's some, hey, I'll tell you, right by Larry's place up there, uh, there's there's bear yeah. uh, watch going yeah. on. And, uh, the bear uh, is attacking the uh, the honey pot there. All right, so uh, what's going on with the Hungry Hollow? Uh, they're they're rebuilding the boardwalk from the looks of it. Uh, just due to years of regular use, uh, it's going to be removed, repaired, and reinstalled back in there. So uh, you can't I, walk it right now. Yeah. So anybody looking to do some hiking and walking along the go Hungry Hollow else. Trail? Got a million places to go. Oh yeah. Know. There's you, you got Limehouse. You got the kilns. You got all that stuff. Behind so. the school, the high school there uh, is is great for a, a jog. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's so many areas there. Um, Stewart Town's got a couple of trails. 
uh, when I'm thinking of Glenn Williams, of course, the one right on yeah. uh, Gellert. the Gellert Center. Yeah, the Gellert yeah, area. You can walk around the Gellert Yeah, Center. there's lots of room there. Yeah, the track there. Yeah. Not that we want to talk about it too much, but we do have some COVID news. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, apparently we've, we've, we've seen a significant drop in COVID-19 hospitalizations and reports, uh, sadly, of two deaths in Oakville in Halton. Uh, hospitalization in Halton dropped by more than 25% over the weekend, last weekend, which That's is good we news. Here. And the region also reported the deaths, as I said, of two Oakville residents. And, uh, man, you know, COVID's taken a lot, a lot of people from Halton that have died. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. uh, you know, in, in all of our communities. <coughs> and, uh, uh, and we say to the older folks, keep your mask on, I guess, for a little while longer. You know, it's funny. I've, I've seen a lot of seniors out and about. You know, I, I was in Walmart. Most of them I, do wear masks. I was in Walmart today, and, and a lot of the seniors still had their masks yeah, on. Yeah, I think you know. it's a good idea for a while until, you know, I mean, the COVID's never going to go away. But well, no, I think we should really protect our seniors. There's right. monkey pox. Monkey pox. There's shingles. Even polio is rearing its ugly head contagious. a bit, too, right? Yeah. So... Uh, being, you know, we were just talking about here in, this, uh, in Lee's Garage and the clouds are getting dark and maybe some rain. Halton farmers are just struggling right now. Yeah. Abnormally dry weather and moderate drought is affecting the crops so badly. Um, it's led to price increases as well. Uh, you know, I know Allison's, uh, you know, normally uh, the corn is, um, you know, six bucks for, a, you know, it's it's gone up quite a bit. Well, you can't um, blame them for that because no. you know, I mean, it's uh, it's their livelihood too. Irrigation with, with the lack of you know adequate irrigation, uh, even any irrigation any. right now, uh, it's, it's just nothing been like a, a nice cob of corn this time of year. Yeah. Though. Oh yeah. Well, I had some. We had some on uh, on Monday night, and oh my god, it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Salt and pepper yeah. and oh. butter. Oh never, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Was, they're getting hungry now. Oh, Bananas. Ah, yeah, bananas. Oh, bananas. <laughs> Banana mellows. How got, many has she had, by the way? She had not many, actually. She usually cleans. You know, we have to get we have to get them quickly because she'll take them away. <laughs> crazy. All right. So, uh, and Heritage Acton uh, have received a grant from the town of Halton Hills for the Acton Town Hall restoration. No. Of course, it's a beautiful town hall, eh? Gorgeous town hall, but it just got restored not long ago, a couple of years back. So I don't know what they're doing with it. I, I think have they're no probably idea. crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Because I know they've got some new windows and stuff like that just recently. So yeah, very strange. But um, good to see. It's a beautiful town hall. Oh, it's the, a gorgeous town hall. It's just that, and the the renovations they've done in the past have just been and absolutely the, uh, dynamite. It's, it's it's mainly the facade improvement uh, that they're looking for. The Offset some down. of the costs of renovating the. It's 140 years old. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Eh? Yeah, it's a cool little building. It's actually got a great stage upstairs and, you know, a nice hall to kind of perform in and whatnot. So looks like something out of um, um, back in the old uh, 1800s and early 1900s, the aristocracy would go there yeah. and dance and, uh, you know, in the old days uh, before uh, rock and roll. Wasn't well, uh, that a song? The old days before. Oh, Van Morrison. Yeah, the old days. Uh, speaking of dryness and not a lot of that, uh, you know, the rain that we've uh, been promised all these weeks and still haven't seen, uh, Halton Hills Fire Department was battling a very large grass fire on uh, Tuesday afternoon. The huge blaze, approximately 40 feet by 40 feet, was reported in the area of 8th Line, north of Steeles Avenue, around 2 p.m. Near hydro, uh, nearby hydro pole was uh, reportedly impacted by that. But uh, I'm actually surprised we haven't heard of more around here. You know? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, this drought has just been absolutely crazy. It's it's uh, trees are even big the, trees. Yeah, the grass is ground, yellow. All yeah. the, like, everywhere. CP24 said too. the other That's day. Big. CP24 said the other day we haven't seen a drought this bad in 35 years. People were actually like yesterday, Thursday, we had that big. What was that? We had that big downpour. Uh, people were actually going out and going oh thank yeah. you, you know? yeah <laughs> thank you and yeah. the grass of course that you know, that's not going to help the grass the grass needs three or four days of that steady rain good rain to yeah. come back it's not going to come back this year you can always tell you're heading august september there's two things well there's three the one is the is the cne which is open by yeah. the way the cne's back isn't that cool after i know how many see years? who opened it 
Howie Mandel. Yeah, right on. Uh, so there's what? that. So there's CNE, and also uh, it is um, uh, the crickets get louder because yeah. they get bigger. Yeah. You know, people often why do crickets? Well, they're bigger. They're rubbing. Uh, and the other is uh, what's the other one? Um, it's totally escaped me now. But there is Love another one. Festival. No, no, no. The, the dew, the morning dew, yeah. on on uh, on the cars and on the grass, because you get that August September dew in the morning at three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Then you know it's almost over, folks. It won't be here for long, though, if it keeps staying as dry as it is. There's yeah. going to be dew either. Par Parkas <laughs> and toques are coming. Uh, exactly. All right, so we, got got a, we talked a little bit about this, but we got the uh, rock and roll rock classics. Yeah. Of course, uh, how many? They've been gone for two years, too. Yeah. Or over that. Yeah. Um, and it'll be so... Uh, I know my roommate Sue. She's all excited. She's going down for that. She right. Came, you know. Uh, I mean, and that was a. That's another thing like Leather Town, where the yeah. whole town gets together yeah. and we all, you know. And it doesn't matter. That's one thing about acting at Georgetown. There's some rivalry there, but basically we know we're the same town nowadays, mm -hmm. and we uh, kind of go to our own events. People from Georgetown come to Acton and vice versa. Absolutely. You know, but uh, the Rock and Roll Classics Car Show, as I say every week, this is a car town. Get downtown, have some fun. Um, there's lots of food. Uh, there's food, isn't there, down there? Yeah. Well, there's lots of restaurants down there to yep. start off with. Uh, but uh, is there a vendor down there going to be a hot dog cart or something? I wonder. Probably something like that. But because they always do a good job down there, and uh, it's lots nice of cool see. cars to look at, yeah. and uh, you know, because some people can't make the Friday at the Mold Masters, right? Yeah. So at least you can, you know. And, then, and there's a lot more cars down at the, at the, the yeah. downtown uh, from out of town. Yeah, you absolutely. wouldn't see it at the car yeah. show, right? So uh, uh, and like I said, you know, that's uh, that's going what twenty twenty sixth. Yep. Um, and uh, we're doing the Legion on that following Sunday um, at the Acton Legion, yep. doing yep. their car show. And last uh, the, the, a few years back, um, we had over 240 cars registered. It awesome. was packed. It was crazy. This year, they're expecting over 300 this year. So uh, we're stoked to uh, have... Uh, I'm just DJing down there for the day. It's not Crazy oh, Chester. Yeah. Uh, but I'm DJing and announcing for the day. And uh, always glad to do stuff with the Legions. I love working with them. And I've got a gig September 24th with the Milton Legion. So, yeah, they're, they're great You're to work with. You're a busy boy. Yeah, You're great to work boy. with. I love your and hat, by the way. That's one of my favorite ones, yeah. 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 Uh, we talked about Leather Town Festival as yeah. well. Anything uh, you want to Thousands, add? thousands of people. Uh, they're putting it around the 8,000 mark that wow. showed up, which is basically the population of Acton. Yeah. And wow. on that one main street, it wow. was absolutely fantastic. And again, to Alex Hilson and the BIA and the board of directors on the BIA, uh, Chris from Titan Tech, you guys all just did an amazing job. And, uh, and thanks for those that donated the stages. Actually, yeah, Neutrino, Alan from Neutrino. Yes, my God, thank you for reminding me. Alan from Neutrino, thank you so much. This guy stepped up literally at the last minute, showed up at 7 a.m. with his trailer for the stages and stuff. Thank you. That's Neutrino here in Acton. Yeah, you see him out there, th shake his hand. The guy did an outstanding job. He and he came to our aid because somebody backed out at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A local business backed out at the last minute. And uh, yeah, that local good. business will not be being used in this town anymore, I don't yeah, think. so. Yeah. I know there was a bit of a kerfuffle about that. Um, all right, so uh, Halton's housing market v volatility is a continuing, I guess. It's not a good time to sell your house right now, is it? We're no. actually seeing, it's funny. It's during COVID, you saw for sale signs everywhere. Yeah. Now you don't see that many around anymore. No, I know a buddy of mine, he's been trying to sell his house. I said, you waited too long, pal. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, this... Uh, this this can't last forever. Can't keep going up. Well, the Bank up, of Canada is changing. You know their their uh, their rates and stuff too as well. And well, you've got you got mortgage rates, and it lay in the inflation and all the other components where the banks are concerned that are gone up. Some of the prices of housing have gone down, but it's not changing a whole lot because yeah. of what's playing out with the banks with the inflation, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah, you know, bizarre. I mean, I feel sorry for young people. Trying to buy a home. Trying to buy a home. It if you don't have right the now. money up front from your parents or your family they or something you that you put away, um, you're not going to own one. And uh, it's just a sad, sad situation. That's why they're uh, all leaving Canada. Yeah. 
So yeah. a bit of a, a bit of a funny story yeah, here. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, s- several bulls were making their way home after being found wandering in the area of Trafalgar Road at uh, 17th Side Road in Halton Hills on the morning of August 14th. Halton police were asking cattle farmers in the area to check their properties <laughs> for their missing bulls. And the owner did finally come forward and uh, managed to wrangle them up and uh, get them back to their uh, their pasture. And uh, but just imagine driving down the road, you come over a hill, and there's this monster sitting in front of you. Trafalgar yeah. Road and Seventeenth Side Road. Yeah, you, know, and you see a bull walking in front. Like, uh, you know, you know that never happened in the GTA, would it? No, never. No. But uh, I'd like to thank the police officer, by the way. I was at Timmy's the other day. I went on the tell and sell and said it. You yeah, saw I the saw, post. I saw that. And uh, I'm sitting there behind a policeman, and I go up to pay, and he he already, he paid for my coffee. And I'd right like on. to, you know, that, that, well, that wouldn't happen in the GTA. And I'm not taking uh, shots at Toronto police. I'm just saying the mindset here. Yeah, but you're uh, saying GTA. Forward. We are the GTA. No, you know, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, we're I right. hate yes, it when I people are. say that. I know. Because Rick fought that for years. Rick fought that we wouldn't be I part agree. of the GTA. Well, in my mind, we're not. You know, and uh, and the same here. But yeah. we are still referred to as the GTA. Part of the GTA. Let them refer to whatever they want, but we're not. <laughs> um, you know, we're I mean. raised, I, you, I'm not, I agree. <laughs> and uh, people in Toronto actually think that Georgetown is so far away. I know. And it's, uh, I just keep telling them, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Leave it that way. They don't way. want to come back. It's yeah. too, too mile long a drive. I kind of saw this post earlier. What's this GDH high school traffic light thing? Now, this is my post from this morning. That's what I thought. And, uh, you know, I put that the GDS high school traffic light is off its meds again. Because it keeps changing all the time, like uh, thirty seconds. It's boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, and the construction on Albert Street is what's causing it. It's it's uh, unadjusted the sensor. I guess so. Uh, uh, this is what I was talking about off air. Is we're going to start becoming the voice of the talent cells because we're going to highlight different things each week from the talent cells from the Georgetown and the Actimon because. Uh, so we're going to talk, we're, we're digging way into the news now, and we're really going to get local. And so this is one of the stories. There's always something interesting in the Georgetown and the Act and Talent Cell. And this is the, you know, and I post there a couple of times a week. I'll post something if I see something. And that's what the Talent Cell is all about. Helping local business, finding pets, uh, joking around with each other, um, lighthearted. We don't need all the bullshit that goes along with it, because you guys as, as admins, you and Katie, uh, it's just stop. You know, I mean, if you've got something bad to say, go say it somewhere else. Don't say it on our call. I must say our membership is amazing. <coughs> they do uh, even report the duck works, the duck cleaning that comes up all the time, which mm-hmm. is frequent on our pages. Because mm-hmm. we, we try to catch them, but now they're smart. They come in and they answer all the questions. Yep. So we can't differentiate yeah. when they're answering them properly. And right? thank you to uh, Kim oh. Dinesha. Uh, on the Georgetown Talent Cell, who replied to our thread and said that uh, uh, it was probably the construction, that uh, she's the one that put my mindset in there. So thank you, Kim, for that. I think you're right. I uh-huh. think it's the sensor. But uh, yeah, you'll be there at 3 o'clock in the morning and there's nothing going on and it'll change. change on and it. it changes for a while, okay? If it was a quick change, I wouldn't <laughs> mind so much. But at 3 or 4 in the morning, you want to get going, you know? I mean, there's nobody around. But I think it's the construction. And uh, this was one that I, that touched my heartstrings. Yeah, you know, I, 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 did s- I actually did see this. Uh, Carol Copeland had posted on mm-hmm. Facebook, does anyone know the young man that was sitting on the sidewalk outside the LCBO asking for anything they can give him? It broke her heart. I gave him $5. But as I was driving away, it dawned on me that he would like, uh, probably like a drink. I went to McDonald's drive through and bought him two bottles of water and when I told them who it was for, they gave me a cup of ice uh, of ice, and a straw as well. He couldn't get the straw open fast enough. He was so thirsty. As I was driving away, he gave me a big wave. How on earth can anyone just walk away from this? I can't help but wonder if we could help him further. It takes a village, and this town sure has proven to be one of the best. If anyone knows him, I, I, you know, I can help. Please I think I know who she's talking about. 
and he's been wandering around town for a while, and we're all a little bit concerned of his welfare and stuff. Yeah. I think you're, you're talking about the same guy. Yeah. I won't go into any details, because that's a horrible position to be in. Absolutely. And he's yeah. such a nice guy, and uh, there's a lot of homeless people in, in Holland Hills. Oh, they have no idea. And, and yeah. you well, have no idea. The guy, the guy we used to see at the mall all the time, pre-COVID. What happened to him? I'm I have no idea, him. but... I'd go get my I'd go get my Chinese food. I'd eat half of it, and then I'd just give him the other half. At least I knew he had something in his belly on the overnight, you know. So there was an older woman too. You used to see. I'm, oh, I'm she's still there. there. Anymore, she's still she's still there. See her everywhere. Mm. You see, it, she's still there. She's still there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we wish these people well. And uh, what you can only imagine what it must be like if it was you sleeping mm. on a park bench, you know, in December when it's minus ten outside. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a sad state of affairs, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd like to uh, say that, you know, any help you can be to this guy, please help him, you know, or anyone that's homeless, if you can offer something to them, because uh, they don't have a damn thing going for them right now, and they could sure use your help. Absolutely. Right? And this is one hell of a town. Now, we're going to go uh, over to uh, the Acton Tell and Sell, and what's going on over there, and uh, Brent Hoy. Uh, posted that there's algae in Fairy Lake. Yeah, he saw it, and he took high. a picture of it too. And uh, he says, sorry, he says here, sorry for the bad news, but people need to know, at dock and boat ramp August 18th in the morning, he took a picture. Good news is the town has ordered more warning signs, and I hope uh, that they can erect them where the public can actually view them, uh, not on the handicap parking yeah. signs, yeah. of course. But uh, Brent, thank you very much for that. And Lori Mandy was the one that pointed... Uh, Hello, Lori. How are you? Lori Mandy was uh, the one that pointed out the blue-green algae is uh, is what we're looking at there on the pictures. Yeah. And uh, don't let your pets drink the water no, in Fairy Lake no, right now. No, uh, stay very, that's very the best thing to do is just stay away from the water right now. It's uh, you know, and I'm and like I say, I'm quite shocked because Fairy Lake over the previous years has always been one of the better lakes in the Halton region. And, yeah, but um, look at the temperatures we had, the yeah. combination of no fresh no, water. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And so I mean, uh, Fairy Lake's cool, been closed right? most of the summer. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, pretty it, much. It's been closed down. I mean, and, and so stay away from it right now. And do please do don't let your dogs drink out of that water there. Uh, some news from the Acton Food Chair. This was a great little story. Oh, Love this. Stuff. Love this stuff. Uh, Acton Food Chair recently received a hundred dollars from five children that operated <laughs> a lemonade stand on Park Avenue. Big thank you to Dylan, Owen, Abby, Noah, and Thomas, and thank you for supporting supporting the Acton Food Chair. And Big Daddy, Leah, and myself, all thank you as well. That big was hugs excellent. to you guys. Big yeah. hugs, yeah. high fives, a whole bit, man. Can we get some pictures from that? I'd love to get some pictures from that. We'll put it up <laughs> on the, the and plus. Uh, uh, who was taking the pictures at Leathertown? Uh, Ann Verdima. Is she ever amazing? She, seen her stuff the amount of pictures this woman was taking was absolutely fantastic. That one of me and Mel, yeah. she took that one yeah. too. Like that's, that's one beautiful. of the best pictures her yeah. and I've had together. Like, yeah. and you and Wicked Truth. Yeah. Uh, oh, me and me, and Matt. Yeah. yeah you and yeah. Matt were, uh, you know, liking each other. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm going to put up That's a That's why thing. he got the picture of him and Mel just to distinguish. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Mel, by the way, your better half, mm -hmm. who puts up with this guy. All right, so Acton Food Share, yeah. congratulations. There's $100. God. And that's the kind of stories. Feel that good like stories. To, yeah. Uh, you know, lemonade stands. And isn't that funny when you when you go to a lemonade stand and a little kid gives you lemonade, it always tastes so much better oh, God, than the yeah. stuff you buy in the store. Oh, it's because he's loaded the sugar in there. I know. <laughs> yeah, give me some sugar. <laughs> Mom wasn't looking. He's dumping another yeah. cup of sugar in there. So that's... Uh, but that's to raise $100 out of lemonade stands, impressive as well. Yeah. Very. That's yeah. a lot of lemonade, man. I have one question before we go in and talk about our radio station and the, and, uh, the other uh, aspects of Halton Hills Online. Um, when are they going to start... Well, that fly is really bugging me. Uh, when are they going to start working on the Hungry Hollow Bridge? I, has anybody seen anybody working there? Nope. Did I miss something? Why are we uh, squeezed into... T uh, when, did they when did they put that up there? How many months ago? Well, beginning of summer. June. It was it early it? June? Early June they started. Yeah, July. Like, no, I thought it was mid June. Maybe. So it's yeah. like uh, three months. You're talking about almost three months, probably three months now. It's been sitting there doing nothing. The porta potty hasn't moved. The piles of bricks haven't moved. 
Nobody's been there. But the occasionally well, you'll see a guy. Per week. But the guy, the guy that uh, you know does gets the contract for that. All he's got to do is start it, and then they can just let it sit and sit and sit and sit until they can get to it, and they still get paid for the contract. And it's bullshit. Well, it is. Yeah. Even the porta potty alone, three months worth. You do the tally app. That's a weekly bill. There's nobody to use it though, mm-hmm. unless it's contract. But either way, no. But that's I'm, what I'm saying though. But you still got to pay for it. I think the security goes there once in a while to check on all the equipment, but that's about it. I don't see anyone. And, and those lanes, those lanes, the lighting isn't the greatest at the bottom of that hill at night. Yeah. You can, and, and you know when you're going south and you're just hitting the bottom of the hill? There's, there's no light there. And the the lane changes right there. Yeah. You know, so it's very and, dangerous. And there's you have to and there's get a, over. There's a, a divot in the road, like a yeah, pothole yeah, in the road, too, yeah, as well. Yeah. So, yeah, no, just uh, bad, very bad planning. Very, very opinion, bad planning. In my opinion, yeah, I don't know who's, who's running that. Very but bad planning. So we'll talk about our radio and, of know. course, Hul- uh, Halton Hills Online. You can Halton check Hills us out. Halton Hills Online Radio. Bluetooth us in and, the car. Uh, we, you can take us anywhere in the world. We have listeners yeah. all over the world. I do the morning show, Top 40 Timeline, Breakfast with Peter, the piano player, with a polyester tie and the whole bit. And Leah, of course, comes in and... Totally takes the studio over at 10 a.m. Yep. With, with all of her albums and CDs and records. And uh, she plans her show every day from 10 to 2. You're on from 2 to 6. Uh, we have Moose Tracks from 6 to 7 weekdays, which is the best of Canadian and local, local. music between 6 and 7. Uh, we have a couple of local tracks every, every day, as a matter of fact, during the week. And, of course, Willie the Gatekeeper uh, is on from 7 to midnight with the, mid, uh, with the night ride there. And we have our all night stuff. And on the weekends, we have our Big 20 show, of yep. course. And, uh, Some country music, country great country music. music. In the afternoons, from noon to four on Saturday and Sunday's country. And then we have, of course, as we mentioned before, for the older crowd, we have the uh, uh, weekend graffiti with the seniors yeah. from uh, six to nine. Music of the 50s and early 60s, before the Beatles came in there. Right. Um, when rock and roll was naive, <laughs> I guess, in a way. Uh, well, out. Jerry Lee was around. I don't know how naive, naive it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, and uh, and then, of course, our solid gold, 9 to noon, when you're all waking up and going, oh, God, I'm hungover, or, oh, I need breakfast, or just sit with your coffee and listen to um, Boy George and the Monkeys. Boy George mm-hmm. and the Monkeys. There's a pairing. Hey, that'd be I a good name yeah, for a band, cool. wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, no, but I'm just saying. You know, there's that there's the variety. <laughs> We do play ZZ Top too. Yes, yes. But we do. the oldies you remember, and uh, a few that we throw in there that you might not remember. Um, that's the one wonderful thing about online radio is we're not regulated by anybody uh, telling us what to do. Um, oh, we are regular. Well, we are regular. Yes, we try to to make, and especially as when we get older, we have to stay regular. Exactly. But uh, thank you, Halton Hills, for making us uh, uh, more and more popular every week. We 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 do this for nothing. Um, we do this for free. And uh, we do this because we love the community. Absolutely. Right? And uh, uh, we think that Halton Hills deserves the very best in media, and we, we try to deliver that. If you saw what I went through for the Leathertown Festival, you know I love this community. And congratulations to uh, uh, A&W for raising money locally yep. for MS. MS. And, great uh, job. And great job with you guys. It's been a busy week. It's you been know, a for summer, very busy I mean, week. I, I, you know, tonight I actually said I'm staying home. I'm putting the feet up on the couch and I'm chilling tonight because it's just been boom, boom, boom. I'm going to go finish the end of my movie. I'm watching this movie called um, Nobody right now. And uh, have you heard of this movie? Yeah. I don't even know who the, the guy starring it is, but I have to go finish it because it's just amazing. If you're into action flicks, brand new movie called Nobody. Uh, this is my personal endorsement, but yeah. check it out. Have you seen uh, Trainwreck or Woodstock 99? No. I saw it the day it came out. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It was amazing to look at the backdrop oh, and see how everything got so messed oh, up. Oh, <laughs> did it go sideways? Trainwreck we're gonna, we're, yeah. train Actually, wreck is a good word for it. I put it up a day or so after yeah. I'd already watched it on our page. Yeah. And, and said to everybody, if you want to know about about what happened, what they tried to do to replicate the love and peace generation of Woodstock, yeah. it derailed the first day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it was bad. Well, you know, it's it's it's, it's an icon, though. it's an iconic the concert. Show. But uh, we'll get into that in our next show with the air radio show. Where it's uh, it's Woodstock week, of course, in rock and roll. Cricket. We have a cricket. Mascot. We have a cricket. Yes, there we have. Turn the volume like up Buddy on Holly. that cricket. 
All right, and we've been uh, brought to you by Max Tires, 905-873-9255. And don't you and forget it. And don't you forget it. And, of course, community is driven by community. You navigate. We drive. Right on. Have yourself a great weekend, everybody. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching our videos. I did it the wrong way around. Hold on a minute. I'm supposed to go like that. There you go. For Big Daddy <laughs> Resort and Ugly Lake and Leah Lywood. Have a great weekend. Please don't drink and drive. And we'll catch you next week. When I hit it backwards, did you see the look on her face? <laughs> like stone. Stone cold. <laughs>